more for everything. Yes, sir. Hey, but Dr. Umar, I need a favor, though. I tried to hire oh, you. Oh, bro, you, you can let the brother in the hand go. Oh, my relax, bad, my bad. Relax, I, got, relax, I got excited. Relax. I got excited. Relax, relax. Get off Gideon's nuts. I tried to get an interview with you. What's good, everybody? This is Mr. Composition, the MC that writes fiction, and we're back at it with another reaction video. Now, this one is entitled he stole from me during black history but then apparently this is jidiad confronting uh dr umar johnson and if you don't know dr umar johnson is big in the conscious black community and there's a lot of allegations and a lot of things circling around him potentially scamming his followers uh, for a school that has yet to be built yet. So we're going to see how this is going to turn out. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the like, subscribe with notification bells on so you don't miss when I drop a video. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm barely new to GDR. Like, I think I I heard of him. I've seen as far as the videos of him trying to nab like a, a predator, and then like him this 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 Foot Locker whatever play, which was freaking ridiculous. To his uh, uh, his issue and then um, reconciliation with Pokimane, and now this. Oh man, I'm interested to see like how this is gonna because dude is like a troll and it's just all like, but the type of things that he chooses to embark on is borderline genius, honestly. So let's go ahead and check this out. They won't make it there. The they say they won't smoke with me. You don't want to take it there. I can't take it no more. Get off Gideon's nuts. All right, boys, man. So this guy made a TikTok about me, which you guys need to make TikToks about me because I always look up every single day to see who's making something new about me. And you guys make some dope stuff, and I really love it. So this guy made a TikTok about me. I'll put his Instagram up here, man. He literally made me my own GTA game case, bro. I've literally had it what? for like a month, and I've been like just waiting to like unveil it on video. That's legit. That's legit. The Let's Marcus see. Cousins the third. And I'm wearing the jersey shirt. That's hard. Wow. Wait, let me see what the disc looks like. Yo! He made me Pokemon card! Wow. 280 defense zero. Damn. <laughs> Thank I know, you, right? Bro. I appreciate that. That's so dope. since I have this, I would think it would be funny if I go to like Best Buys and GameStops and basically like try to buy it or return it and stuff. I That's need a disc funny. though. Yeah, uh, Xbox it. One game in a PS5 case. Play That's as funny. DeMarcus Cousins. Level two, location, IHOP, enemy police, <laughs> mission, shit. Difficulty, veteran. Level one, shoot palace, enemy, Tyrone. That is so funny. Wow. All right, boys, man, the game stops right over there. But we're going to actually place something inside, so. Just so they don't think anything suspicious, I'm going to put that in there. They can't wow. say nothing because it's Black History Month. And they it's probably Black just History Month. How you doing, my <laughs> man? I'm just trying to game up, man. You know what I mean? What's your guy's slogan? I forget. Power to the player. Vito's distracting him right now. I'm gonna place the game. And we are ready to roll. Can you help me out real quick? I'm trying <laughs> to actually level up my Riz. I was wondering, like, is there any, like, Riz games that I can get that are on PS5? I don't think so. Could you show me the US selection? Because I just got one and I don't know what to call. Oh, they're all right here. Aw, oh, Demon Souls. Is there any games with, like, strong LGBTQ or TV, WX, Y, and Z? female protagonist that I can <laughs> I'm just trying to get my woke points up, you know? Not that I'm aware of, to be honest with you. So, like, GameStop doesn't carry games like that? No, I haven't seen anything like that. What's that game right there? <laughs> Which one? That one. Is that GTA 6? Never seen this. It's an Xbox One game. Can I see real quick? What's this game about? He took away with this. I do not think this is fake. I think this is real, bro. I know you guys are trying to, like, all people here and, like, <laughs> in a new PS5 and you guys give them 10 bucks. But, like... Really? Can I get this game? No, because it's not real. Because uh, <laughs> it's not real. It's literally in my hand. You see what you're looking at? Here, catch. <laughs> okay, well, you didn't catch it, but it's real. Let me, uh, if y'all want to see the whole thing, you know, I will leave the link in the description, but I want to, I want to react to the part where it was the Dr. Umar Johnson. So we're going to see. Bye, Miss Candace. 
Yo, what's good with y'all boys, man? So you guys are probably wondering, Dion, why are you wearing that shiki with yellow crop? Yo, yellow crop. So you guys yellow know crocs. I'm probably one of the biggest black activists on YouTube. I mean, I quote the bigger picture every video. So I thought it would be hilarious if I had Dr. Umar react to my N-word pass video. If you guys don't know who Dr. Umar is, you've seen him before. Like, he's funny. You've seen him. But one thing about Dr. Umar is he does not like quote-unquote coons, and he would classify me giving strangers the N-word pass as Coonan. Basically, he's just pro-black. So I thought it'd be funny if he reacted to my N-word pass series and like, you know, I got his opinion on it and stuff like that. I thought it'd be a funny video. So I emailed him, I DM'd him on all my social medias. Finally, like, you know, he was giving me like his cash up and he was telling me where I had to donate. So I sent him $500, right? And so right after I sent him money, Brody ghosted me. So for him to say that he didn't see me is a lie because he was DMing me before. Wow. And then after I paid, Brody went Casper and just wow. ghosted me. I had to send you guys to go to his Instagram live. Yo, run your D on his 500 back, man. Like, what's up? What's up? This is what Brody had to say about me. I know nobody by the name of Gideon and definitely received no money from the man. Money for what? But I'm not going to call him Gideon anymore. I'm going to call him Jackass. We got a bunch of brothers on here swinging from somebody named Gideon's nutsack. It's making me sick in my stomach. Please get off wow. that man's nutsack. Go find you a woman or something. I can't take it no more. Get off Gideon's nutsack. So you don't know who I am, and you're telling people to hump off my nuts stat, but you answered my DMs. And then you blocked me on Twitter. So wow. you definitely know who I am. I just thought it was crazy. How can someone be so for the black community, and you just committed black on black wow. crime? I, it just, it baffles me. So, so I, like I said at the beginning, if you see as far as what the cash app was for, as far as like the university and different things like that, yo, boy, I'm curious to see, like, how he's gonna get confronted. I went on his website and I saw that he's going on a tour. And then I figured out that he was going to Jacksonville, Florida. So that's where we're about to head right now. I'm in disguise so he doesn't recognize who I am, just in case. I'm gonna pull up there and I'm gonna politely ask him for my 500 bag. Like, I'm not gonna, you know, make no scene. I'm not gonna go crazy like how I usually do. I'm gonna just ask him. Yeah, exactly just who that's what we're about to do. Big dude. <laughs> Power to the people. As of right now, I'm not Jadeon. My name is T'Challa. <laughs> I'm gonna put these in sports mode. Crocs, bro. I know you see these crusty ass Crocs. You guys need to send me some new ones. Just please sponsor me, bro. I literally wear your shoes every single video, man. Help a boy out, bro. I don't even want money. I just want free Crocs. <laughs> I just want free Crocs. Hey, my brother, how you doing? Power to the people. Power to the people. So does it go like lighter shades in the back and then darker shades to the front, or is it all? <laughs> okay. I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of caramel, so I'm sitting in the middle. I don't know who these ladies are, but they black queens. His name is Emmett Till. He was taken in the middle of the night by Go ahead and get them, them, the them ad dollar stuff that will be there soon. Oh my goodness. This is freaking. I'm so. Let's see this. Oh my gosh. Every city got a cool room in that. Cause you can't oppress black people without participation from black people. Oh, hey. <laughs> you go to parks and recreation. You want to do it? They got the little things up. Hey, Somebody just hit me up. When you coming to Savannah, Georgia? Cool. I was there yesterday. Ultra Art Center. Where are you? How we doing? How we doing? One love. Thanks for coming out. What's the name? Uh, Keith, I'm on my arm. All right. I, uh, you probably need a marker, marker. Oh, no, it's all good. I just want to take a bath. I don't want to penetrate that skin. Hey, it's melanin, so you know it's not going to go nowhere. Yes, sir. My girl, she kind of make it here, but she loves you. She loves you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you. You just pulled out a white girlfriend on me. You just pulled out a white girlfriend. I'm trying to take. 
take over. I'm trying to take over. Brother, how you got on African clothes with a white bunny, bro? I, I'm, a, I'm a conqueror now. I'm the conqueror. It's snow bunny season. I'm going hunting. I'm just going hunting. Thank you, Dr. Umar, for everything. Yes, sir. Hey, but Dr. Umar, I need a favor, though. I tried to hire you. Oh, 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 bro, you, you can let the brother in the hand go. Oh, my relax, bad, my bad. Relax, I, got, relax, I got excited. Relax, I got excited. Relax, relax. Get off Jillian's nuts. I tried to get an interview with you, and I had sent $500. I mean, you got the snow bunny thing. I don't know if I want to do the interview, brother. You're not living the code. But you, you have blocked me on Twitter. You must have done something. No, no, no. I would never do anything. You sent me $500. Send I'll me send the receipt. You. Okay, I'll send you the receipt. Send me the receipt. I'm addicted to finesse. I'm addicted to finesse. <laughs> I don't even smoke weed. I feel hot when I'm next to you, babe. Yo, like, my oh my goodness. I'm telling everybody you my boo thing. Did he, my boo thing. Did he show the receipt? Oh, it's nuts. <laughs> That's such a dope clip to freaking say. Honestly, if you just pay five hundred dollars for him to say that, <laughs> because you can just put that on everything. Like you can just take that clip and just put it on everything. But yo, I I'm like there's there's several things that I that I think about. Um, with this let me let me exit out of this guys this is doing some other funky stuff here so y'all take the y'all get the look at some of the other stuff that i'm doing here yo this joint is over two million views but uh yo shout out to Jidia because he went there in complete disguise, even, and he even said, like, I'm just, he's just all like, I don't even want to be around Black men that date, you know, and then for him to, yo, the joint was, and then for him to sit up there to pull up on him, like, I don't know, Dr. Umar Johnson's got to respect the fact that this dude like went up and then was just like, you blocked me on Twitter, you did this, you did this, he's just like, you must have did something. Okay, now, on a serious note, it doesn't matter what the person did. You told him to get an interview, send the cash app. He sent you $500, and he gets blocked. He gets all these different things. I just don't understand what your psychology is that makes you think that that's okay. Like, literally, like... Even I know some people like to <laughs> describe Dr. Umar Johnson as like always like the black preacher and everything like that. Yo, man, there's so many talented people out there who can do and has done, not taking away anything that he's done, uh, that can do so much. And you doing things like this come on now like you know in the internet age because that's like a level of ego that's just all like no matter what i can't be stopped seen some people crash and burn man but anyways guys what do y'all think of this reaction do you think Jidia was wrong for uh coming up to him like that or do you think that he was in his 100 percent right to do so i think he was in his right to do so i think that it was dope and shout out to Jideon. Anyways, guys, make sure to leave a like, make sure to hit the subscribe button with notification bell so you don't miss when I drop a new video. Make sure to hit the description for my new album, Earthship, as well as my Cannabis Mega Style comic, the most random manga ever. And we're coming up on the five-year anniversary of my first work of fiction, Ideas of Illusion. All that, link in the description. Anyways, guys, this composition MC that writes fiction. Be ready for the return to fall. Maybe I should be asleep. But these four moon vibes got me in the deep. Emotional roller coaster strapped in my seat. Ready for a trip to find what I seek. Pass the galaxy into my office. Translating thoughts in the deep science. Got the sun in my pocket. Build your resilience. So when the next winter cycle comes, I prepare with no losses. The work of the solo, it's a bar.